8.1 Vector and Parametric Equations of Line in R2 Example 3 Sketch a line passing through point minus 1, 3 with the given direction vector. Write vector and parametric equation for the line. Okay. So this is our direction vector. Direction vector is always given from the origin and is 1, 2, 3, 1. So the direction vector m is equal to 1, 2, 3, that is the x value, and 1 positive is the y value. So what we will do is, we will go to the point minus 1, 3, which is minus 1, 1, 2, 3, and then from here we go 1, 2, 3, and 1. So that's one point. And so we can go like this, minus, minus also, right? So 1, 2, 3, and 1, correct? So this, this becomes the line. And we can always join this line passing through the point given to us. So there is it. That's it. And line is in both the directions, correct? So it's a direction vector and the point. Given to us is point P, which is minus 1, 3. Now write vector and parametric equation for the line. To write vector and parametric equation of the line, what we need is a point and the direction vector, right? So the vector equation is R, which is equals to R0. R0 is the point given to us, which is minus 1, 3, plus T times the direction vector, which is 3, comma 1. Correct. Here, t belongs to real numbers, correct? And it is not equal to 0. And t is not equal to 0. It belongs to real numbers and it is not equal to 0. So any multiple of this direction vector will have the same direction, correct? And strictly speaking, it is this t which ensures that the line has infinite points because for every real number, T has a unique point on the line. So remember that T is the main reason which gives infinite points to this particular line. Okay. Now this is our vector equation. And uh, now we'll write parametric equation. So in parametric equation, what we do is, so in vector equation, we treat T as a scalar multiple of M. Do you see that? And, you know, because m is your direction vector and t times m is parallel to it, correct? Now, for a parametric equation, we break it up. So the x point for us is minus 1 plus 3t, right? So we can write x as equal to minus 1 plus 3t. And the y value is equal to 3 plus 1. 1t, that is t. So that becomes the parametric equation, correct? Why is it called parametric equation? Because here, t is the parameter in which this line is being defined. So, you know, line is single dimension, so we have one parameter. So significance of t in parametric equation is that it identifies line as a one-dimensional object. Correct? So, so that is how you have to see the equations and understand these terms. We could write T as S or any alphabet for that matter. So, in the vector equation, T is a scalar multiple, right? And it tells us that a line has infinite number of points since T belongs to real numbers and so it could be infinite number of multiples of this direction vector. This equation, which is the parametric equation, gives us an idea that one parameter could define the line and therefore the line is a single dimensional object. So this is what you learn and get from them, which a couple of times students miss when they study from the book and I hope they get it this time. Okay, I think sketching part is and writing part is well understood. 
and also the concept of t in both the equations. Thank you.